Next pair coming live. It's going to be Sean Langman. It's going to be Tony Schumacher. This is the marquee matchup, Alan. Tony Schumacher, the Skag Machine right side. Sean Langdon, the Bounty Hunter, Coletta Throwback left side. And the winner of this race gets a bye run in our Lucas Oil Series. We would call this a 2-4-1 into the semifinals, which will be the Mission Foods Too Fast, Too Tasty Challenge. So think of all the points and all the money that potentially ride on this one run between two world champion race car drivers. Well, wait a minute. If we're not going to run the conclusion of this race until tomorrow in final qualifying, how are we going to then come back and run the Too Fast, Too Tasty Challenge, which takes place tomorrow from the New England race? Ha! Ah, you didn't think about that, did you? Well, we're going to do it at the same time as the semifinals run. And we're just going to call it the Mission Foods Too Fast, Too Tasty Challenge and award the money and the points. That's what I understand is going to happen. I think we should run them and then back them up, pack the parachutes, and run them again. Do best of seven. Yeah. NHL style. Go Panthers. The Bounty Hunter, Sean Langman, out of Coletta Motorsport. Tony Schumacher for Team Stag. There we go. 379. Tony Schumacher, 323 miles an hour. Sean Langman got away first, but he didn't have enough. 3.846 at 316 miles an hour. So Tony Schumacher. Going to take Joe and Kathy Maynard's Skag power equipment machine into the semifinals, where they apparently will run for the Too Fast, Too Tasty Challenge, as well as the Epping win in Bristol on Saturday afternoon instead of last Sunday, I think, starting on it. Yeah, all sorts of, uh, you know, things yeah. to think about here this weekend. And Mike Neff, the crew chief for Tony Schumacher, that it turns out to be a huge win because you have the buy run on the ladder round number two, put you right into the semifinals tomorrow, into the Mission Foods Challenge. And I know this team is hunting for a win. You feel like it's coming soon. Um, absolutely. Anytime you can uh, get a buy second round, that's pretty rare. So, uh, yeah, we're fortunate to get by those guys. Um, we're hoping to run a little better than that, but... Uh, Conditions are getting good now that it's cooled off. Tomorrow will be a, be a different ball game. But, uh, yeah, it just uh, feels good to be able to go a couple rounds and uh, try to keep it going all weekend. Mike, i, I got to ask you real quick because you've been around this sport a long time. Crew chief, driver, race winner, funny car, top field. But the uniqueness of this weekend, two races, the Mission Foods Challenge on top of it now tomorrow, bonus points, bonus money, and all of that. How does that change your mentality? That's the first time I've ever had this situation or been in this where you race two races in one week, and it's actually pretty exciting. It's made today a lot more exciting than it normally would be, and uh, tomorrow will be the same, and then uh, followed up with another race on Sunday. So it uh, should be an exciting weekend, and I love it here in Bristol. It's a great facility, and it uh, should be a fun weekend.